Hi, welcome to Apple 76 Gaming. We're playing uh, Taxi Simulator in City. Uh, this is uh, a newest game's coming out tomorrow, well, the 6th for you. And uh, I'm just looking at it right now, uh, thanks to uh, Sona Jakur, the company that sent, sent, sent me it. They're the developer, pu pu publisher. As you can see, they are very, very limited on their uh, settings. You can't even adjust the in game sound. So you can turn off the music, but you can't turn down the sound effects. So you're going to hear in a minute the game, and it's really loud. I hope my audio, my voice audio narration, goes over it because I've had to record this three times. I just can't get it loud enough. So that's really annoying. But uh, you start off with a car. We're going to do do a, a little taxi mission. Now. We're supposed to be 50 missions in total. That's what it says on their on their uh, Steam page doesn't say how much it is going to come out for so I don't know I couldn't tell you but basically it says that uh, there is 50 unique missions uh, there is also uh, stunt mode uh, free mode and then there's some challenges you can do some like parking ch ch challenges you can see the game runs s smoothly uh, there's no damage on the vehicles and there's no I don't see any punishment system. You know, if this says it's a simulator, you can, you know, you're, you're going to have fun being a a cab a cab driver. Uh, but it's not really what it seems to say in the uh, in the blurb, shall we say? It says it's with advanced graphics and detailed city atmosphere. Players will experience every uh, factor of urban life, dynamic weather conditions, day-night cycle, impressive visuals, further enhance the game's atmosphere says it's a seamless blend of taxi simulation and arcade entertainment experience the authenticity of being a taxi driver while pushing boundaries and, ex uh, and on exciting stunt tracks so you know it runs great which is very much important uh, as an adult who does a lot of simming i do american truck euro truck uh, bus simulators i've even tried some flying simulator this doesn't feel much like the sim, this kind of simulators I wanted. I was hoping for a, a taxi where you start your own cab fare, so you earn money to open up your own cab fare. So you literally you start. <laughs> like <laughs> <a> <laughs> <driver> <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You just buy a car. Um, that's what I've seen in this in this actual demo thing. I was gifted. I had like a hundred thousand, so that might be just so I can check out. But I've not seen you know the money. I mean, I'm assuming you have to earn the money via doing the missions to be able to buy other cars. I don't. Uh, it's very, it's very difficult because it, to me, what it says on paper and what it does in game is different. I've only ever seen it sunny. Um, you know, I've only ever seen it sunny. So uh, to me, you know, it's not been a. I've never even noticed it go cloudy you can see there's not a lot of traffic at all there is the odd car on that but I mean really it's go from point A to B A to B to get some money and you don't get I've not been punished yet as in I haven't been given a fine normally in simulators if you damage your car the passenger will get out you could scare them if you drive too fast you go down the wrong side of the road there's punishment but I've not seen any of that it's just literally you drive from one place to the other um, there is as you can see right now there's lots of cool loop de loops and there's a lot of stunt stuff in here lots of big big ramps to be fair that's kind of cool because I like the idea of getting cars and ramping off of ramps and seeing what I can do as how far I can go or what I can jump lots of coins to collect which gives you money when you pick them up quite easy to get lost the map is big so I'm not gonna say it's not because it is it's big it's a real big map but again it runs so good and is big because there's not a lot else going on in it it just seems like you're the only moving object most of the time you, know, you could handbrake turn like I did there with the uh, space bar you use the Q and the E button to indicate left or right uh, you have your hazard lights Literally, I had to take a photo of the actual uh, the keys. It does drive pretty well, considering I'm using the keyboard and mouse. Um, but uh, you don't, you, you can't use a controller by the looks of it. And you definitely can't use a steering wheel, but I wasn't expecting that. But as you can see, I'm driving pretty well with the Q 
keyboard. There is some stunts. You can do stunt tracks. There's uh, 15 entertaining stunt tracks, it says. You're going to see me do one soon after I drop off this chair. You can see I'm picking up things, picking up coins, making more money. I'm going 129k uh, uh, kilometers an hour and I'm not getting into trouble for it. If you do some jumps, I've noticed when you jump, all of it is me indicated. Actually indicated there. When you do jumps, I tend to land on my front. It's like my car, my front end's heavy, which would probably be the, the, the engine. There's uh, 13 other vehicles. I think you can get a limousine Hummer, uh, which is kind of quirky. Oh, I'm just dropping off now, aren't we? Passengers in there. But we've driven not too bad, but we've not exactly driven down the roads. We've gone through lights, I think. You know, we've not really done what our class is simulating. So we'll drop this guy off, we get a and then you can go to the next mission. Pretty straightforward. You can see I've got a lot of money already. That's some of that was gifted with me when I got the key, so let's go do one of these challenges. Hundred you can win a hundred a hundred gold coins. This to me is aimed at youngsters. There's no co-op, doesn't say a lot on Steam, so but as far as I can see, uh, it doesn't look like this co-op game gameplay. So this is quite quirky looking. I think it's supposed to da dazzle your eyes a bit. Obviously, if you've got like a Lamborghini, you're going to rip through here a lot quicker, but you're also going to come off the track as well. So you have to be mindful of that. Yeah, I was hoping for if there was going to be a career mode. I like that sort of thing where I can buy my first cab or I get, I drive, I drive for someone, I earn some money, I buy a little. A little office in, a, in somewhere and then I take calls from there and I get jobs and then I build up my empire. I can buy all the cabs, I can upgrade my car. You don't get any of that. You don't get damage re re repair, you don't get fines, you don't get stopped by the police and you certainly don't scare your passengers. So there's, you know, there's a lot of it missing for a, a taxi simulator. You know, you'd rather play crazy taxi. But hey, I got it for free to, to look at and to show you, and that's what I'm doing. So, I, I, oh, so I, I hope you uh, appreciate it. I do appreciate getting the key. It is different. I, obviously, I'm a sim channel primarily, I'm a mixed channel, but I do quite a bit of simming, simulation, bus simming, and stuff. So, if you like that kind of thing, and you want to check out anything else I do, check out my other co content. Make sure you leave me a comment on this. You know, you've got to try different things in life, or you you never find anything that's good. If you just buy the same things, I've got 150 gold again, then it's just the next mission, so that'll be another one of the racetracks. I don't know if this is just because it's all open to me already, because I've got this money. I'm going to go do the parking challenge. And there's the keys again. You cannot turn the game audio down. You can turn the music off, that's it. That's a real problem for me. So I've narrated this. I've narrated this three times. You might not even be able to hear me over it. There's a hundred gold. Part two. They just get hard. I mean, it's great for young kids, but you've got you've got to be really young. And I think there's other games out there that can do this be better. It lacks a lot. It lacks a lot of uh, meat. Like I said, it, it looks great. It looks okay, and the stunt bit's fun. If you, if you, if you're young, a young kid, you just want to ride around and you just want to ramp a load of stuff. You can do that. I'd rather do that on like Burnout Paradise stuff like that, or go play G GTA. But I'm, I'm, I'm an adult, so the kids, you know, they can see the things floating in the air. They don't sit properly. The car sometimes looks as if it's actually floating. On. At least I managed, I managed to fail there, so I took that corner a lot better. Again, this is pretty easy for me. Next parking. You can 
see I'm getting a bit better with the keyboard and mouse. So it's, you know, it's WASD to steer, handbrakes, your spacebar. You know, it's, it's fine for youngsters probably. At least it's not violent, you don't get damaged, you don't have to worry about anyone being hurt or blood or anything. So it's fine for little ones. I just don't know if they get bored kind of quick, that's the problem. You can see I just wanted to show it off. Let's go look at the other cars. Look, so you can see the other cars. They've all got different power, stats, controls. I thought we'd give this uh, Lamborghini a go because I wanted to see just how fast it is and if it runs at the car, the fastest car, if it'll run stable. And it does. As you can see. Passenger. I'm just doing this just so you can see it. said it looks okay but it's definitely not something I'd want to spend with. if I saw this in the store I'd want to go see what, what it's like so, I don't like to see bad, bad, it's a bad mouth again as it takes a lot to, to make them I'm quite sure I don't make them myself but I'm a person who enjoys I enjoy simulating I enjoy being a bus driver truck driver, you know, just racing around stuff and doing awesome stunts. So I think if I was gonna if I was gifted this, I would probably enjoy well I was gifted this. If you were gifted this, you'd probably enjoy the uh, the stunt bit for a while. I'm glad you can turn off the music. I just wish you could turn down the the actual in the game sound effects so the engine you could tweak that. Again, you don't even drop the person off, you just leave the box and there's a green box and it crashes you there and then the passenger just climbs and it's teleported in there. You can see the passenger, but ironically you can't even see yourself. You can change the view, like I think I've said before, you can zoom in, use the C key, you can get first person and other, so you can see yourself, you can look from different views, which is cool, especially if you're doing a jump, you can put it on an outside ca camera. But just think to most gamers my, my, my age, this is not going to for me. I thought that was a flat piece of road there, I didn't realise it was an actual barrier. But as you can see, I'm going across the grass really cool, really fast, not obeying the rules, not getting any fires, not getting any damages, not even having to worry about fuel. So it's not really okay, simple, it's just the block on arcade. But hey, at least you've got to see it if you come across this video or you happen to search it and you're wondering what it's like like i said i think it's for you youngsters not really my cu cup of tea i appreciate the chance to try it and thanks for letting me show it off i hope it's been a help to you yeah, whether it's uh, saved your money or it's made you make a purchase for for someone without worries if you could just do me the favor of hitting the uh that old like button leave me a comment let me know what it is you like to think about it and let me know if you want to see any other random games that i can get get keys for it's all good take care and i'll uh, see you in the next one on ball 76 signing off have fun